I'm back. We had a, such a good trading day today, and we almost hit a uh, one to six six risk ratio trade. But because I had closed a lot of my position, so I did not make a lot of profit. But yeah, let's go through my trade recap slash my daily bias. So if we go on hourly time frame, this over here is just like this is the market open like 1530 right around this candle but as you guys can see on 30 minute time frame i don't use that but if you go on hourly time frame price was just pushing higher and we were bullish and if you go on the forward time frame again we were bullish so four hour bullish hourly bullish and we are not seeing any kind of like bearish uh movement of course i was going to be bullish for the day and then we go if you go on NASDAQ, I think it's the same here. Bullish for our bullish hourly, like market opens right around here. So no reason for us to be bearish. And as I as I don't see any kind of like bearish movement because we already had swept out this high and we are currently at all time high on SP X500. So again and if we go on lower time frame let's just make them so i got the trade over here i was able to take an entry over here on nasdaq but let's go through uh snpx 500 first so first thing i did was to mark out this uh 15 minute liquidity over here and we had such a lot of fair value gaps as you guys can see, we did hit this high over here, but if we look here, so we came to got this high over here, but that was like when market opened, and then we saw a big leg to the downside. So there was no reason for me to take short. Why? Because we already had seen this, this move happen. We already seen people taking short position, and a lot of people took off profit over here on this liquidity. So it was just the right thing. Like it's just the market experience. But if we go on the front one minute time frame, like we feel we took out all of this one minute low, or we want to see like five minute low filling to this fair value gap over here. And after that, we did have these news existing on sales, so I waited for that also. If we just look around here, this is where 1550, where I usually take my trade. We did, we did see a setup which was inverse fair value gap and we broke one minute structure to the upside. I did not check the trade because I was waiting for this news to come out. So we did not see any other confluence after that. There's a third confluence like no fair value gap getting filled, no equilibrium, nothing. So I did not took any trade because I did not see any kind of entry. So the entry would have been if we had seen this fair value gap to get filled, uh, me getting some kind of entry right around over here. But I got the entry on uh, NASDAQ. But yeah, NASDAQ was the same. So if you go on like hourly time frame, we were bullish completely, like no sign of bearish movement. Again, bullish on the four hour and something that nasdaq is not even at its all-time high and we did hit this uh daily high over here or you want to call this four hour high over here that i had marked up as my take profit so we seen that s and 500 already had i made the move on higher time frame so it was just like it would make sense that nasdaq wants to come higher too so it's just something that i have build up it's the market experience that i have been trading for past two years but yeah, if you go on the lower time frame again it was the same thing i marked out this 50 minute low over here this low and we had this equilibrium if you're wondering here i just marked it out from this low to this high over here and as you guys can see that in lines with the equilibrium over there and after that if you go on one minute time frame so when the market opened, we see a big uh, leg down to the downside, and then we see price moves higher, took out these highs over here when we made before the market opened. Still, again, we made this move before my time where I usually take my 
where I usually take my trade, which is 1550, and we had news. So I just waited. After that, we came, took out this low. We came, market came, took out this 15 minute low, and I was bullish for the day. So perfect. My confidence got hit, which is liquidity sweep. We took out this liquidity to the downside, and on one minute time frame, we already seen a big leg to the upside, like we saw inverse fair value gap. Boom, my second confluence, we just disrespected this big there's uh, fair value gap over here. And after that, I was 100% sure that my bias is going to be bullish. And then I just waited for the news to come out. Before the news came out, we see I fell into this bullish fair value gap over here. And I just entered after. So this is where this candle is where news came. And I just entered right after that. And I got entered right over here. And if you go to take profit, um, my first take profit was not that good. It was just this, the top of this uh, five minute fair value gap over here. I mean, again, I just love, I just love to be consistent. Like that's why. And I like, imagine we could have seen price just fill into this fair value gap and big like to the downside, it would push to fill into this fair value gap. So we have to think all of the confidence confluence is area where the market go could go against us and that's where our take profit we should be now take profit one got hit i took off six uh, 20 lot as i entered with 60 uh 250 pip and like if you look here it's not 250 but i usually put a bit more but yeah i took off uh 20 lots over here and i took another 20 lots over here on the second take profit my second take profit was just this high over here like this one minute high and my third take profit was this move that we made to the upside the top of this candle and then after i let my 20 lots to go to take out this and i was just managing my uh, position which i would put like my stop loss just below this fair value this fair value gaps that were made so my final Take profit was this, but I moved my stop loss just below this, just below this fair value gap over here. Um, just below this fair value gap over here, which I got stopped out, and price is reversing. And if you are wondering why I did not hold the position to this high, that's because we had already made the move on uh SP X500 SP came to out these highs already so we were gonna see uh price to move lower that's why uh again good trading day and here three hundred and seven dollar that I made today we did not took any kind of trade yesterday and I have been in winning streak like if we don't lose tomorrow we will be in winning streak and three uh weeks in a row like I think I lost only one trade. Bam. This was the short recap. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you guys on the next video.